Hello, hello, gorgeous NFA. No fucking around, money mamas. You're in the right place if you are ready to scale your business to six figures plus by understanding how to master your mindset, manifest more easily, and use different strategies to make your business feel like ease, flow, joy, and fun. I'm Dr. Amanda, the Money Healer, and I'm your host. And today for episode 19, we're going to have a really fun conversation about time and rushing because most people don't think about how rushing is a habit based on a mindset that is in the scarcity mode, thinking that you're a victim to time. And anytime you're a victim to something, you feel out of control, it causes resistance and slows down man money manifesting. It makes you less magnetic to easy money. And I, it's interesting when I talk to people about this, most people don't make this association between rushing and not making enough money because most people think that when they rush and push and force and they fill up their plate with more and more stuff that they're going to make the money come faster and that's usually their goal by doing that they go oh my god if i put everything on my plate and i help everyone and i deliver everything in my business and i put a ton of content out there then i'm going to make more money and it's like this throwing spaghetti at the wall mentality where it's like, I've got to do everything and hopefully something will stick and work. And I don't want you to get stuck in this because rushing feels crappy and it makes you feel overwhelmed, stressed, and it will lead to burnout at some point. And most entrepreneurs that I run into experience this at some point in their entrepreneurial journey. And this doesn't have to be you. The trick here is that you got to understand why rushing is negative for you and what to do about it. And that's what I'm going to help you with today. So welcome, welcome. First, I want you to think, I want you to scan your week last week. And I want you to think about how many times you felt rushed or you had the thought, there's too much on my plate. I'm overloaded. I wish I had more time to relax. Oh, I'm overwhelmed with all these things on my list. Like really be honest with yourself here, because if that's you, that's okay. Don't beat yourself up. This is about you getting conscious and being honest with yourself and deciding, hey, I got to do something different because I am building a business that I enjoy that is magnetic to money and and something that I, it, it's like, it, it's a journey of freedom, right? You're not building a business to create a prison where you feel rushed and stressed. You're building a business to create freedom of choice to construct and design a life you love. And that starts with you today, not in the future. So today you've got to start to understand, am I being rushed? Am I forcing myself to do too much? And what's behind that? And when you get really honest with yourself, it's scarcity thinking, okay? So what it means is that you have a mindset where you go, oh my God, there's not enough time. And so I better hurry to get it done. And what this causes is a, con a continuing cycle, right? This is like a self-perpetuating cycle because you'll think there's not enough time. So that's the first scarcity mindset belief you have going on. There's not enough time. And so I've got to rush. I've got to put a lot on my plate. And it just keeps going and going and going. And so we really want to stop this habit. And this is something that's really important to remember. And you'll hear me say this over and over and over again on many episodes, probably every episode. <laughs> your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. So if you don't like what you're getting on the in, on the outside, you've got to change what's within. Okay. And what that means is if you don't like what you're getting on the outside, let's say relaxation in this case or money, you've got to change what's on the inside, your mindset and your habits that are creating that reality. And, and I know that a lot of people are blocked here. They think, no, there's only so much time in the day and I have more to do than anyone else. I'm a single mom or, you know, I've got a job and a single mom and a side hustle and, 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 and realistically, all of us have the exact same amount of time every single day. And the way that you choose to master yourself is how you're going to master your time. And that's what's going to lead to having easier flowing success. It starts from within. And I know that's sometimes hard to hear because we can get into this victim mode where we go, but, but I have so much more to do than everyone else. Or I started at a different place than everyone else. And I get it. And I also know I've been there, you know, when I was in grad school with three kids and I took on an extra job, I was on food stamps. And so I took on an extra job, even on top of going to grad school, teaching classes, writing a dissertation, 
sometimes one day I timed how long it took me to drive my kids around four hours. I was in the car driving my three kids around to school, to their activities, plus doing all this other stuff. And so I still managed in that time to get my PhD and start a business and take care of my kids. And I was in a relationship and I've exercised regularly and took care of myself. Right. And so I know that when you master yourself and, and when I say I'm not a master of myself, I'm, I'm on my way and I'm always in the process of that. But when you work on self mastery and you play with it on a daily basis, you can be much more masterful of your time. So, so really just reflect and think like, what am I doing with my time and how am I feeling about my time? That's what's really important here. You want to be thinking, am I feeling relaxed or am I feeling rushed? And if you're feeling rushed, what's going to happen is that the universe on the outside is going to slow things down because basically you're sending the signal, I'm too busy. I've got too much on my plate. Don't bring me new opportunities. And I know that's not what any of us here want. We want easy flowing opportunities that help us make easier and easier and more fun money in our zone of genius. And so when you feel rushed, you are basically blocking. It's like putting a big blanket over your money magnet <laughs> and you're blocking opportunities from coming your way and you're sending the signal you don't want more clients you can't handle anymore right? And I know that's not what you want. So let's break this habit right now. And let's get you to start to reframe your beliefs so you can get different results. And this is following exactly my NFA money formula. It's a three step formula. If you want to download my NFA money formula, it's awesome. Uh, there's a video and a cheat sheet. Go just go to NFA money formula.com NFA money formula.com download it. And, and that'll help you with this. Also, if you want to follow along with what we're saying here, you, there's a blog. So just go to the Woman Entrepreneur Podcast page, website.com. So you just go womanentrepreneurpodcast.com. Go to um, the, that's about at the bottom of the page blog. And you'll see everything that I'm talking about here in written version so that you can see it. Um, but for this one, I would definitely say download the NFA Money Formula because I'm going to apply it to time. And the reason I love the NFA money formula and created it is because it was the simplest strategy I could create and uh, to get yourself to reframe your money mindset and change your outcomes by changing yourself from within. It changes your habits. It changes your mindset. It reprograms you on a subconscious level. And so I, I mapped out what did I do to change myself and go from food stamps to six figures and to go from broken relationships to happy marriage and to go from, you know, changing all kinds of different habits that I didn't like scarcity mindset into abundance mindset. I used the NFA money formula. Of course, I didn't know it at the time, but when I map backwards, I go, oh, this is exactly the process I use. And this is exactly the process I walk people through when they're, when I'm helping clients with transformation. And so NFA money formula, it's three steps. And so I'm going to give you three steps to help you stop rushing so you can manifest more money in your business and feel really good about it. So step number one of the NFA money formula is recognize when you feel rush. It's recognize. Okay. So you're going to recognize, and this is a consciousness raising tool. The first step of change is always to recognize. If you don't recognize where you're stuck, it's impossible to change. So you've got to slow down enough to recognize how you're feeling in a rushed way. So what a, a really cool way to do this easily here is to scan your last week, like I said in the beginning, and take account and notice where did I feel rushed? Was it in the morning when I was getting the kids ready for school? Or was it when I sat down at my desk to start doing my social media content? Or was it at dinner time? Like start paying attention to when you feel rushed over the course of a week. And then that will help you trigger in the moment when you're experiencing it to go, oh my God, I am feeling rushed. So let's say it's in the morning when you're getting your kids ready for school and you're thinking about your workday and all the things you've got to do. So you're not present in the moment with your kids and you're, when then you get to work and you're not present at work because you're thinking, oh my God, my kids didn't get my energy and my time, like whatever it is. That, that's just one scenario example that I hear a lot. My kids are older, so I don't have that anymore in the same way. But um, it, that could be something that's making you feel rushed. Okay. I want you to notice it. And this is the only thing you're going to do. This is step number two. You're going to reframe. Okay. So in step two, you're reframing here, you're reframing your thoughts and your actions around feeling rushed. So the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to stop feeling rushed in that moment, you're going to notice, let's say you're, you're feeling rushed in the morning, taking your kids to school or getting them ready, thinking about your workday, you're going to notice you're feeling rushed and you're just going to stop and go, okay, take three breaths, take three breaths and just tell yourself this mantra. I love this one. You're going to say to yourself, I enjoy feeling calm and in control of my time. So take three breaths and say, 
I enjoy feeling calm and in control of my time. And just, it's, it's a pattern interrupt. A reframe is a pattern interrupt for your brain. So it starts to rewire it and for your actions, because you're stopping being rushed in the moment and you're taking three breaths and you're just saying, I enjoy feeling calm and in control of my time. And, and this is an interesting way to use mantras. I teach mantras in a very different way or affirmations. I call them affirm mantras because you want to tell yourself something that's absolutely true. You don't want to say, I am in control of my time. You could, if you think you are, if you really believe it. But most people, when they're feeling rushed and frazzled, they feel totally victimized by time. So if you just said, I am in control of my time, you might not subconsciously believe it. So you want to say something that you subconsciously believe. So you, it's believable because what you really want to feel is enjoying feeling calm, right? So you want to say the statement, I enjoy feeling calm and in control of my time. And this programs your subconscious mind to start to focus on that. And then you start to change your outer reality because you're focusing instead of like most people, what they do is they're rushed and they go, oh my God, I feel rushed. I feel freaked out. I feel stressed. And that's what they're telling themselves over and over and over. We have 60,000 thoughts a day and 90% of them are the same. 90 to 95% are the same as yesterday. And the majority of them, researchers are now saying about up to 70% are negative. And time is one of those that we feel a lot of negativity around and a lot of scarcity, a lot of victim mindedness. So you want to just start to reframe that and go, wait a second. I am the master of my time. I choose to be the master of my time. It's possible for me to be the master of my time. It feels good when I am in control of my time. I feel good when I'm relaxed and slowing down. And so you're just programming your mind with those mantras. You could use any of those or ones that align for you and feel resonant for you. So this, the one I'm choosing here is I enjoy feeling calm and in control of my time. So the reframe is that you're stopping the action, you're stopping the thoughts, you're taking a few deep breaths and you're telling yourself a mantra. And then you just go on with what you're doing. And what you're going to do in number three, this is step three of the NFA money formula is repeat to reprogram your mindset. Okay. Repeat to reprogram. And here you're reprogramming your scarcity time mindset. Okay. The reason that repetition is so powerful is because it is impossible to change if you don't reprogram your subconscious mind, because remember, you're always going to get the outcome of what you believe to be true on a subconscious and conscious level. Okay. And 95% of us is subconsciously programmed. So if you are in the habit of feeling rushed, I promise you, your subconscious belief system believes that there's not enough time. So you've got to start to reprogram that on a subconscious level. The two things that sub that reprogram your subconscious mind are repetition, 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 <laughs> and or meditative hypnosis states. Okay. And so this is a really simple one that I can teach you easily is to stop what you're doing. So one, recognize, two, reframe, three, repeat to reprogram. Okay. So here you're going to repeat. So every time you notice yourself feeling rushed, you're going to stop what you're doing. You're going to take three deep breaths. You're going to say a mantra in the direction you choose to go. And you're just going to keep repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating that. And I'm telling you, when you start this practice, it'll probably, if you're conscious, if you start to get conscious of it, it'll probably be a hundred times a day that you do this because when you're in the habit of rushing it is an all-consuming habit and it will happen i mean you'll be brushing your teeth feeling rushed you'll be doing the dishes feeling rushed you'll be doing your work feeling rushed every aspect of it and you'll just notice it's like this constant state of being and that's what's causing you to slow down your money magnetism because you feel overloaded and so it's your job and your a job is an interesting word to stay, to stay there. I'd like to say it's your responsibility to become a master of yourself. And part of that then will create you to be a master of time instead of feeling victimized by time. And this creates money magnetism because when you feel relaxed and you feel calm and you feel poised and balanced, money can flow to you more easily. Opportunities will come because you're not overloaded already, right? And it's, it's, I want, I really want you to remember that quote I said in the beginning or the way that I frame my entire business. Your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. If you don't like what you're getting on the outside, you've got to change what's within. So if you don't like the feeling of being rushed all the time, you got to change your experience of being present in the moment, slowing down, creating a calm state so that then the outer world can speed up your results.
So you're in your calm state, that's when more opportunities come. It's not in a rush, frazzled, harried state. It's in a calm, poised, balanced, magnetic state and magnetic to flow and ease and money and awesomeness. So those, those are my tips for you today. So I'm going to recap because I love to recap. First, remember that here is your action step today. Go to down, go to nfamoneyformula.com, nfamoneyformula.com. You can download a cheat sheet there for the NFA Money Formula. This is what I call a tool of a million uses because it applies to anything that you choose to change because it reprograms your mindset. Of course, I focus on money because my company is NFA Money and I love to help you make more money. It can be used in many, many, many ways. So it has awesome offer, offer mantras and a cheat sheet and a video describing this. So go to nfamoneyformula.com and it will outline... What I'm going to recap here, number one, recognize when you feel rushed. Number two, reframe your thoughts and actions. And number three, repeat to reprogram your mindset. Again, that's recognize, reframe, repeat. And that is what I got for you today. I love being here with you and be sure to be sure to hang out with me by if you download the NFA money formula, you and I will get to hang out and talk more because I, I send you stuff that nobody else gets when you're involved in my community. And so I, I love hanging out with you. Be sure to do it. I appreciate you being here and I can't wait to hear about you being a master of your time so you can magnetize easier money your way until next time. I'm sending you big, big hugs and NFA money making high fives.